So this is the beginning of the Salt Lakes. Biggest, highest in the world. When I first heard we were going to go and see uh, Big Salt Lake, I wasn't overly excited, but uh, as, as the tour continued through this Salt Lake, I slowly got impressed. These were pretty cool. 200 years, uh, 200 million years ago, this part of the Salt Lake Uni, it was part of Ocean Pacific. Divide 200 million years ago of the Ocean Pacific because that Vulcanus Mountains with at 5,000, 6,000 meters above sea level is starting to crawling and that mountain separate the water in two parts. The water up here feeling evaporation. Yeah, so effectively what he was saying is uh, tectonic plates is... This was once part of the, an ocean and tectonic plates movement because of being in the Andes has, has pushed this whole place up and then she's evaporated and turned into this salt lake. So now we're going to have a bit of a gander and see what the people do with this lake. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what moop is or, or what he just said, but we get the picture, I guess. Well, as far as you could see, um, there was a heap of these uh, bloody little salt mining operations going on where they were just raking up the salt, and uh, you can see in the background behind Jason all the all the little lumps there. But there was uh, there was plenty of it, and uh, we had to go and see how they cooked it. So this is the uh, salt preparation, one of the salt preparation things where the miners come and drop off a bit of salt, and of course then they start cooking it and sending it out to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, it was bloody hot in this little room and all that uh, crackling that you hear, man, she was bloody loud. Just crack the ears. Yeah, it was pretty interesting to see them uh, go through all these processes and how hot and, uh, I guess, not heavy, but uh, hard the work is. It's, it's bloody, it must be about 60 degrees inside this thing. They're wearing jumpers. Bloody hell. Well, it's time to leave the salt miners and uh, go and check out another way that the locals use this salt lake. On this stuff is a bit like walking on a uh, tin roof, and it's kind of uh, therapeutic, like popping little plastic bubble bubble wrap stuff. Yeah, well, getting back to the small things, uh, amuse small minds. Oh well. Well, the Salt Lake tour was getting uh, a little bit more interesting. Here's another bit of it. What's he doing, well, you ask? The miners are producing in this area the salt blocks, as you can see behind the miner. If the miner come to here for produce the salt block, come to here to work. And these miners uh, do it this salt production uh, for the miners or for the poor people because this salt price is uh, more cheaper in the market and also these salt blocks it's uh, good for make new salt hotels what do they do with the ones that are dodgy this is garbage so uh coming to the salt lakes uh, was getting more and more interesting actually and um there's a there's a fair bit of footage here of the salt lakes uh there was actually some cool stuff that we got up to uh, you'll see how we use how these bricks get used as well, because um, yeah, it was, it was, mate, it was a, it was a bit of an eye opener. It was uh, quite a cool place to go. It's uh, well well worth whacking on the old uh, map of destinations. As you can see, this shop that was in the middle of nowhere uh, was built of those bricks. old or something. Well, you can have a bath in a salt bath, I guess. It'd probably be a therapeutic experience. And the Kiwi contenders on the bus, whenever they saw a Kiwi flag, they jumped for joy. 
Hey, I uh, hope you're liking uh, this funky music. I uh, I made it on me garage band application for iPad. Uh, hooked it into me keyboard and gave it a whirl. Yeah, pretty funky, I thought. Pretty funky.